Good afternoon everybody, my name is John, I'm with Plate Watch, and I just quickly want to take you through a tutorial on the Bullhorns app which is a panic button on your smartphone. Um, you can see on the top left is the shortcut, I've already downloaded mine from the Google Play Store, you can also get it from the App Store if you have iPhone. Um, I'm going to open the app. The first thing it's going to do is ask permissions, which you want to give all permission. You want to give this app all access uh, to your phone. So we'll go through the permissions, allow, allow, allow. And we're going to go into the, the, the next stage, which is the setup screen. Okay, Because it was previously installed on my phone, it's remembering all my settings. But we'll just quickly go through them. You want to put your name and surname. Um, there's mine. Uh, your contact details. So an email and your cell number. Um, further down, you're going to need to pick your country. Um, you'll see there South Africa. Uh, if you scroll down, it's going to ask you to take a selfie. And uh, there I am, smiling. Let me come to the important part. Okay, the emergency phone contact. Now with this option... It's going to give you various options you can pick. Um, if you want to use the security company you're currently with, you can. I think it's available for ADT and Prime Security. But if you're in Plettenberg Bay, you can choose the Plett Security option. Which is going to contact you, which is going to connect you to the PPCPA control room. Okay. Um, and the PPCPA, the Plettenberg Bay Crime Prevention Association, is a collection of security clusters, uh, all the, the, the different security companies, neighborhood watches, um, SAPs, etc. Um, in Plettenberg Bay that all cooperate together um, to fight crime in Plettenberg Bay. So if you go to the PBCBA control room, that's a good thing. The next one, you're going to have options, emergency SMS contacts. You want to tick that. I would like my emergency contacts to receive an SMS with my location when I activate my panic button. You're then going to go further down and you're going to pick your contacts. You'll see if you've chosen Plet Security that the last two numbers are automatically filled in. Uh, those two numbers belong to Otto Ulefier and Waldo Ulefier of Plet Security um, and the PBCPA. So you want to keep those two numbers um, because one of them are always uh, patrolling or on duty. You can then choose from your contacts if you click the little red plus. You can go into your address book and pick. I wouldn't pick people far away. I'd pick neighbors, uh, friends and neighbors that live close to you. Because if you're going to hit your panic button, you want people close by to know um, that you're in some sort of trouble. Now, because I'm the chairman of Plate Watch, I have about 5 million phone numbers on my phone. Um, so I'm just going to go to my best friend who lives near me, who I know if I hit the panic button is going to come uh, quickly to investigate why I've hit my panic button. Uh, goodness me. And that will be Colin Garnet. So there we go. So all my numbers are filled in there, so you add your, uh, who you want to be as your emergency contacts, scroll further down. Um, I would personally tick all these options if I were you. Um, you can mute the alerts because what this, this app will do is it will, it will alert you of panic buttons going off near you or of crime in your area. There you can set the radius. Uh, select radius in kilometers, uh, I choose 10, and then it's going to ask you for your location. I set this up when you're at home, because then you can just click the left tab to use your current location as where you are. So you want your panic button to remember your home location, that's probably where you um, are going to want to use it. And after that you just say save and activate. It's now going to send an SMS to 
Um, my five contacts that I've chosen there, that I've chosen them to be emergency contacts in my app. Um, the app also has several other features. I'm just going to open it again. You can see non-emergency features there. You can see the big button there. If I, if I hit that button now, it will send a, an alert to my five contacts and also send an alert to the PPCPA control room. And that alert's going to go out to Platwatch. It's going to go out to the security companies. It's going to go out everywhere where it needs to go. And people are very quickly going to come and investigate um, what's going on if I don't answer my telephone when they call me. Non-emergency features. You can look. Um, you can uh, the, the first option there is you can add alerts. So if there's something going on in your street or you're aware of a crime or a crime has happened or you've reported a crime on your property, you can enter all of those details here. Um, and slowly but surely we can start building up a database of crime um, which we can use to start looking at uh, patterns, uh, modus operandi, etc. And it gives us an idea of where um, crime is currently active. You can also view alerts. Second option there, I'll open that. And it will take me to my current location. And I can also have a look at everything that's been reported around me. And there you can see all the alerts around where I currently am. So I'm, I'm currently in 24 Longships Drive. And I can, have a, I can have a look. If I click on any of those options, it's going to tell me what's gone on there. Um, some of them will have photos. Most of them will just have a report. And I can get an idea of what's going on around in my neighborhood. Um, the last option is follow me. If I click on that, it will send. If, if I'm going into a, into a situation I'm not sure about um, and I'm not at home, um, or I'm, I'm traveling home and somebody's following me, um, I, can, I can click that um, and it immediately will alert the, the control room that I'm, I'm feeling vulnerable um, and they'll know exactly where I am. Uh, record audio, you can use that in, uh, if you're being pulled over by uh, the traffic police or whatever, you can use that to record um, conversations discreetly what is going on okay um, three buttons at the bottom there that will give you your local fire station um, medical you can also program those buttons I think to your local medical fire and police stations so there you have um, the Bullhorns app this is the one we use in Plettenberg Bay it's another layer of security um, have it on your phone uh, keep your phone next to your bed. You can um, Especially if you, if you live alone um, Maybe you can't afford a, a fancy alarm This is just another layer of security another layer of safety that you can have on your phone uh, The app is free doesn't cost you any money. Please download it from the App Store or from uh, Google Play and um, set it up as I've shown you there. Hope this helps Thanks everybody, take care.